let's start with translation with the Beatles, and not only with the Beatles, also with coins and also with their bugs. Well, 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 do you know these Beatles and these bugs? Probably yes, but all of them were collected in Ukraine. And you can recognize here also Ukrainian coins with different historical kings and different important historical persons just on these coins. But today we will talk about Beatles. Do you know them? You don't know them? Okay, I will show you some of them who are not so rapid and tell you precise Latin name and common English name. Because here I deposited several beetles, several families of beetles. Big one, small one, very tiny one, which I just collected nearby in this hard time in Ukraine. Anyway, let's start from the beginning, from the biggest one in the right corner. Who is this beetle and what is the family? The family Scarabaeidae. Yes, chafer beetle, green big chafer beetle. This one, just on the right upper angle, trying to escape. Sorry, but we are keeping them in chamber, because they are so rapid and can escape easily. But also you can recognize here some other very small beetles are crowding around, very tiny, like this one in the center and upwhere. They are also belonging to the same family, Scarabaeidae. Yes, but the genus is different. The genus is Hoplia. Hoplia, flower chafer beetle, different genera. And this again, the biggest one, the flower chafer of the genus Cetonia. Probably the genus Cetonia aurata. Cetonia aurata Latin name. Flower chafer beetle. This biggest one, green one, in the center. Okay, so we recognize two species here belonging to Scarabaida, the family. Small one here on the right side. This is weevil, tiny one, tiny buds weevil. I'm slightly invisible, sorry about that. Here in the center you can recognize brown color of and rounded beetle. This is leaf beetle family, Chrysomelida. Chrysomelida leaf eat beetle because larvae and adults were eating leaves of different plants. Very common. And nearby also Phytophago species escaped weevil family Curculanidae. And the red one? Definitely this is not a beetle. Red one, this is bug. Hemiptera family. Hemiptera order. And family Pyrocoride. This is firebug. Red colored firebug. And down there, this is leaf beetle. Firebug, yes, family. Pyrocharide, Pyrocharisapterus. Very common in the springtime. Okay, down there, you can see also not a weevil, but seed feeding beetle, or genus Nehabrochidius. Common invasive species. Oh, yes, this big one, black colored beetle. Different family. This family is Elateride family. Click beetle. Because can not only fly in evening time or sp spring beetle. Click beetle, the common name. Elateride. Larvae and adults were well, quite often living in a wood and also in the soil. And what's about this biggest one? This big beetle, genus Dorcus, genus Dorcus, and family Lucanidae. Lucanidae, 
Look on it, this big one. Larvae also just inhabiting different dead plants or injured plants with decaying wood. Yeah, so this is genus Dorcus. Oh yes, this one also scarabat die. Also small species, flower chafer. Another species, this two species of scarabidae. Hopefully on the top and down there. Another one. And again, 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 coming Dorcus. Big beetle of a family. Lucanide. And on the, yes. And on a lot, a lot lighter. One small species of Bruchina. Belonging to subfamily of weevils, Kurgolanidae. Just fly, fly away. So this is one. Click beetle. Click beetle. Elateroid. Lucanide beetle. Oh, here, one boy. Yes, yes, yes. Who is here? Again. Ah, this is Cerambicidae. Cerambicidae. With very long antennae. And one another species, Cerambicidae, was also was here. Very fast one. Be careful, I will show you. This one. Long horn beetle with very long antennae. Flying very well. Larvae developing inside. Decaying wood. Flying pretty well. Yes, you see open elytras. And running very fast. Running very fast. Cerambicidae. Wooden habiting beetles flying very well. And this species open elytras to fly and just jump in and flying very quickly. Yes, small weevil on the downs where family Curcolani die. Yes, and this is Locanide. Two Specimens, two specimens, big one, like colored, no, three one, one, two, and three. It's three beetles of a genus Dorcus. We are not fighting, we have a big mandibles. If we have a male and female, they can be mating and even laying eggs in captivity. Oh, sorry, one hope there was damaged by someone. Maybe by Lucanidae because they have a very big mandibles. Others were not predaceous. All genera here were phytophagus. Were phytophagus. Only Dorcus is dangerous because it has a big mandibles. So maybe this Dorcus injured is very tiny, hopefully. Because hope they cut it uh, just on two, on two pieces. Sorry about that. But Dorcus is still Phytophora species. And also tiny firebugs. Pyrocoris apterus were also saprophagos. And Phytophagos were feeding on seeds of plants and also on dead bodies insects. So here we don't, I don't have predaceous beetles and bugs because otherwise we will damage each other and it's not good for cage. We are putting some beetles all together. Try to put them of the same habit, at least fight of beetles all together, not predaceous. I don't like the idea of it somewhat. Predaceous beetle will eat Phytophagus beetles. Some people do it, even recording on video, but that's not a case. Case. So one only, one casualty here. Dorcus, cut at our, one of our specimens of Hoblea. Yes, but I put them in this jar temporarily and I will separate them again on two different places. So thank you for watching.
please write in your comments which species or which families do you know and maybe you know also persons here ukrainian kings oh. sorry this is my dog my assistant which is sitting together with me and trying to be careful but not always so firebugs dorcus elateride hoplea chrysamilide firebugs pyrocoris apterus and here genus dorcus and this big one cetonia cetonia aurata Thank you for being with me during this translation. See you in the next video. Good luck. Write your comments and ask your questions.